Да. Итак, добрый день. Good afternoon, dear colleagues and guests. Dearest colleagues and guests, today is the 9th of September 2021, it's midday Moscow time. Let me declare open a session of the defense thesis for the defense of thesis by Kachuk Darisanov for academic specialty sociology of culture, culture 22006 sociology of culture before on the theme factors of modern Russian youth musical and artistic taste formation functioning. The code of academic specialty I shall explain later. Our dissertation council was appointed by the order of academic secretary of St. Petersburg University on the 17th of May 2021, number 4110 1, and me, Gavra Dmitry Petrovich, doctor of sociology, professor, head of the department of public relations and business of St. Petersburg University, was appointed chairman of this council. Other members of the council were appointed by the same order. Achikasova, Vera Alexeyevna, Doctor of Political Science, Professor, Professor of the Department of Public Relations and Politics and Public Administration at Petersburg University. Tita Renko, Larisa Grigorina, Doctor of Sociology, Professor, Professor of the Department of Sociology of Belarusian State University, Belarus. Sapanja, Olga Sergeyevna, Doctor of Cultural Sciences, Professor, Director of the Institute of Art Education, Professor of the Department of Art History and Pedagogy of Herzen State Pedagogical University. In the remote access mode, we have, uh, we need to take a technical break. I declare a technical break. Dear colleagues, let's continue. The technical break is over. In the remote access mode, we have Magidovich Marina Leonidovna, Doctor of Sociology, Professor, the Department of Cultural Theory and History of Herzen State Pedagogical University of Russia. Can you see and hear us? Yes, I can hear you, but I can hardly see you. Uh, you are very far, you appear very small. Melchinka Yelena Lenidina, Doctor of Sociology, Professor. Professor, the Department of Sociology and Director of the Center for Youth Research, the National Research University of Higher School of Economics. Can you see, can you hear us? Please turn the sound on. Uh, I turned it on. Yeah, now we can hear you. Good afternoon. Rosenka Svetlana Ivana, Doctor of Sociology, Professor, Director of the Institute of Management and Social Technologies of St. Petersburg, Lesgov National State University, Physical Culture, Sport and Health. Can you see? Can you hear us? Yes, I can see and hear you. Thank you, Svetlana Ivanovna. The answer is positive. The degree applicant is also present. Kachuk Daria Vladimirna. The academic supervisor, Kozlovsky Vladimir Vecheslavich, Professor, PhD, Head of the Department of Sociology of Culture and Communications at Petersburg University. Let me inform you that our session is recorded and broadcast online at the Petersburg University website. The speeches have been simultaneously translated from Russian English and from English to Russian. During the live broadcast of the Dissertation Council session, an email is currently displayed to, to which all the listeners may send their opinions and send questions to the applicant online regarding her thesis and their current scientific discussion. So these questions shall be forwarded to me by our technical service, and I shall present them during the discussion. Questions should be related strictly to the applicant's speech and the content of her thesis. It's necessary to indicate the name, position, and place of employment of the author. Questions that are not related to the scientific discussion 
discussion of the thesis, uh, text and assessment of the thesis should not be presented on academic specialty. Hachuk Devnimna applied to accept her thesis for defense specialty 22 series as a sociology of culture. However, in order to implement the order of the Ministry of Science and Ed Higher Education, Russian Federation, of the 24th of February and approval of the nomenclature of scientific specialties and the scientific degrees are awarded and amending the regulations of the Council for Thesis Defense of Canada Science and Doctor of Science approved by the Ministry of Education and Science of the Russian Federation on the 10th of November 2017, number 1093, introduced a new nomenclature of scientific uh, specialties. And given that our dissertation council uh, was, uh, uh, you remember the number I've given you, 22 series of social was established according to St. Petersburg University regulators on the uh, approved uh, the 1st of September 2016. And the name of the uh, specialty remained the same, uh, Sociology of Culture. And again, Dear colleagues, let's continue our session. The technical break is over, and let me get back to where I stopped. Well, and therefore, considering personal application of the applicant, uh, uh, dated the 30th of August, number 3305, by the change of code of the center to a new nomenclature, 546. Since her thesis fully complies with the scientific specialty, the nomenclature changes were made in the order on approval of the, thesis of the dissertation council in respect of specialty code. Our thesis council was approved to defend the thesis by Kachuk Darlin in the scientific specialty 546. Order of St. Petersburg University, number 8405, dated the 2nd of, of September 2021. Dear colleagues, do you have questions or remarks regarding this issue? No. Very well. Thus, defense of thesis by Kachuk Darvodinov for the degree of Canada of Sociology 
on the theme Factors of Modern Russian Youth Music and Artistic Taste Formation and Functioning is conducted in Academic Specialty 546, Sociology of Cult Culture, in accordance with the order of awarding academic degrees at St. Petersburg University, approved by the local regulations of St. Petersburg University here and after the order. A session of the decision council should be considered competent if at least two-thirds of the appointed members are present, but not less than four persons. Our council consists of seven persons. All seven are present, I can see that, including three council members working in the remote access mode. Uh, audio visual contact has been established with all the council members. Thus, we have the quorum. Let me set forth the following procedure of today's session with a total duration of approximately two hours. First, summary. Uh, let me emphasize a report of the chairman on documents submitted by the applicant and their compliance with applicable regulations answers to possible questions approximately five minutes. Summary, once again, a report of the applicant outlining the key points of her research approximately 15 minutes. Next, questions to the applicant strictly on her report, not more than two minutes per each question. Answers of the applicant, not more than two minutes for all questions. Speeches of all the council members in turn with their assessment of the thesis and the applicant's speech with uh, summaries of their opinions, uh, questions and suggestions to the applicant, approximately 10 minutes for each speaker. Six, speech of the, uh, of the chairman with his assessment of the thesis. Answers of the degree applicant to questions and remarks of the dissertation council members. No more than 20 minutes. Open discussion. Speeches at will of the attendees with summaries of their opinions and specific questions and suggestions to the applicant strictly on the theme of her study. Not more than two minutes for each speaker. At that, all the applicants are requested to register themselves and introduce themselves fully before speaking. Nine. Presentation of questions to the applicant received in the course of the scientific discussion. 10. Answers of the applicant, no more than two minutes for each question. 11. Speech of the academic supervisor. 12. Discussion of the, by the council members before open voting of the defense result. For that period, sound shall be switched off approximately five minutes. 13. Open individual voting. Votes shall be counted by the chairman and the results shall be recorded in the minutes of the meeting. 14. Make a decision on awarding or not awarding the degree. 15. Closing remarks of the applicant, no more than two minutes. Dear colleagues, do you have any questions or objections to this procedure? If you have no objections, let's, let me start the procedure. But before that, uh, let me ask you to switch off your mobile phones. Uh, and I will also do that myself. Thank you for your understanding. Let's start our session. The thesis by Kachuk Darya Vladimirovna for the degree of candidate of sociology, academic specialty 546, sociology of culture, on the theme factors of modern Russian youth musical and artistic taste formation and functioning, was accepted for defense by a order of academic secretaries in Petersburg University on the 6th of April 2021, number 3555-1. Kachuk Daria Vladimirovna wrote her thesis at St. Petersburg University. Her academic supervisor, uh, Kozlovsky Vladimir Vyacheslavich, professor, doctor of uh, philosophy, head of the Department of Sociology of Culture and Communication, St. Petersburg University. Number of publications which set forth the main the results according to the enclosed list is nine in peer-reviewed journals from the list approved by the uh, Ministry of Science Education, three publication. The applicant submitted to the academic secretary a full set of documents for, uh, to accept a thesis for consideration and defense. All the documents comply with Article 12 and Section 3 of the order. All the documents, according to information I received by, uh, from the curator, respond to the requirements and are kept in the applicant's attestation file. Copies are available from the Dissertation Council Activity Support Department, who is now present. 
Before I give the floor to the applicant, do you, dear council member, have any general questions to the applicant? And is it necessary to present and discuss the entire list of documents submitted by the applicant? There are no questions. I believe uh, uh, well, it is, it's not necessary to discuss the entire list since I have uh, studied, examined it. Well, Daria Vladimirna, welcome. The floor is yours. Welcome. Thank you, Dmitry Petrovich. Good afternoon, dear chairman and members of the Decision Council, as well as listeners. Your attention is drawn to the thesis, factors of formation and representation of music artistic tastes of modern Russian youth. Uh, the, uh, is, is, is still in, the, uh, uh, in this paper, I focus on the question of how exactly the taste preferences of young people are formed, as well as how exactly their taste preferences are present in the context of social and musical identity. A role generally play near musical communication. Uh, one of the one of the key issues of the taste is dynamic transformation of uh, in the past and uh, personal and group of uh, concession. Analysis of music preferences enables us uh, to describe them and, in, and in describe and interpret them. The relevance of my research lies in the scientific and practical relevance of verifying a number of provisions of the theory of taste, in particular about the social and cultural distinction carried out well but the relevance, the relevance of my research lies in the scientific and practical uh, uh, number of provisions, uh, in particular, social and cultural distinction carried out through formed and represented musical and artistic preferences, likes and dislikes. As a center of my research, I focus mainly on clarifying the condition of factors of production, uh, uh, information, and transmission of musical artistic among young people. The object of my work is the musical culture of more than Russian students born in 1987-1997 who live mainly in uh, major cities in Petersburg, Moscow, Yekaterinburg, Novosibirsk, etc. The subject is the factors of formation and function of musical artistic tastes of the Russian youth generation. The purpose of my work was to describe dynamics of emergence, transmission, and function of musical artistic tastes of Russian youth. To achieve this goal, a number of research tasks have been solved. Conceptual foundations of the study of the problems of formation and second, sociological explanation of understanding this as universal cultural category. Three, uh, the description of the musical industry uh, as uh, generating musical near musical meanings. Situational influence of musical artists on choice of music consumed by the audience. And five practices of modern Russian youth that form their musical artistic taste, as well as practices, have been reviewed. Theoretical methodological foundations of my work, the main theoretical and methodological concepts, the theories of Pierre Bourdieu, I have also uh, Richard Pettus, uh, Thierry Norrie, uh, Bogdanovich, and the main approaches are shown in this slide. I used sociological studies of musical field studies on stigmatization of listeners, works that touch upon uh, symbolic distinction, ethno uh, musical studies, and studies in uh, cultural industries in general. The uh, theoretical foundations of the study of taste. I will focus a little more on this theory because this is the nucleus of my work. First of all, I used the work of uh, Pierre Bourdieu, 
uh, consider states in the process a theory of cultural capital. The cultural capital, along with other, is uh, represents field over the power over the field. Defines says practical curator for convergent things into distinctive signs. Continuous distributions over discrete position. He transfers the differences inscribed in the physical structure, of bodies and symbolic structure of bodies. The second approach was proposed by. Uh, American researcher Peterson, his colleagues, for example, Ferguson, Kern, and others. In their interpretation, the taste operates in stratification, a cultural society, but the emphasis is placed, is put on the, con on the consumer. They also describe phenomena of omnivorous, uh, so called cultural omnivorousness, the so called consumed cultural products. As for the empirical basis of my study, the empirical base was made up of data obtained during my uh, conducted study. Uh, these were qualitative and quantitative methods. Uh, we surveyed a full focus group, uh, 15 interviews and five expert interviews. The study was conducted in several stages. The first stage was conducted in 2016-2017, when I con conducted first pilot interviews and two uh, expert interviews. Second stage is questionnaire focus groups and remaining interviews. The final set uh, included 288 respondents who met the age criteria and filled out their questionnaires completely. Three focus groups were held in full-time format on the basis of the resource centers in Petersburg University. Research hypothesis. The main hypothesis of my study is that the musical and artistic tastes of modern youth in the context of global uh, stratification changes are undergoing transformations in the direction of erasing social boundaries between music consumers and increased fluidity of cultural patterns. Additional hypothesis states that musical tastes retain some of their traditional functions, such as creating symbolic distinctions between different generations and a sense of uh, unity within the group. The following provisions are submitted for defense. First, the musical and artistic tastes are formed during accumulation of cultural capital and familiarization with symbolic codes conventionally defined as markers of belonging to various cultural and social groups. Second, symbolic inclusion and exclusion from groups based on broadcast musical taste is still relevant, but there is an increase in intolerance for previously marginalized genres and taste carriers that include these genres in their consumer practices. Three, the listener's musical identity requires features of significant mobility, fragmentation, and situativeness in terms of representation of tastes and their con content. A specific situation of uh, is focused listening as genres is currently being formed in fragments due to individual compositions of a wide variety of musical genres. I will touch that upon that later, how the musical in in industry impacts artistic tastes. In the musical industry, which produces complex musical artistic products, at the moment is aimed at increasing of music products in the context of daily consumer practices. And, uh, and thus, the movement from thoughtful and limited consumption uh, shifts towards background listening, the nature of modern music production and the perception of musical works has a trajectory character due to the collision of routine, situational, and secret. And finally, the fifth provision, industrialization of creative production and gradual blurring of boundaries between mass, traditional, and academic musical discourse variability of listening practices themselves and the general musicality. Uh, these are trends that change the landscape of musical space and its role in the society. Based on the data obtained during the study, as well as the independently collected data, we managed to obtain the following results. First, we developed the theoretical framework that explains formation of musical taste of Russian youth 
and consists of substantiating a number of principles. Principle of double selectivity in the choice of consumed uh, under the influence of primary media and, and personal preferences. Uh, the principle of symbolic demarcation of social position. And uh, third, the principle of compliance of musical practices with the lifestyle. The substantiation of taste as a universal cultural category that distinguishes musical preferences and antipathies and identifies based on listening was given. And the following factors of formation representation of musical and artistic tastes are revealed. Uh, uh, we identify five factors. First is the social factor that consists of influence of social environment on the practices of consumption and understanding of music. The social arenas of formation of musical taste are responsible for primary selection of musical works that will be negatively or positively labeled. Such selection is carried out at the stage of primary formation of taste, childhood and youth. And so social arenas are include uh, educa social uh, arenas also include works broadcast uh, clips and music as well as near musical meanings such as interviews musicians pan creativity and so on also the stratification of the society directly correlates first of all with the represented but not real tastes of young people Beg your pardon. Second factor is the industrial factor that consists of influence on music industry as a central source of new music and artistic meanings. This cost, cultural industrialization and widespread distribution of music and music artistic products, which allowed the musical industry to become the main source of mass music products. An important role in the formation of taste is played by the repeatability of what is heard. For example, um, pieces or clips, the listener hears more often and receives positive demarcation. Anticipating a melody uh, causes positive emotions at the cognitive level, which is actively used by representatives of music industry, primary composers. This is also true about the last factor, psychological. And in general, I will uh, talk about it. The psychological of the individual system of perception of uh, music and music forms, and the uh, and the uh, modulation as emotional states. First of all, we link the psychological factor with affective side of music consumption and production, but also the question of psychology of music and impact is not limited to the emotional side of perception and we also we identify the cultural factors a cultural factor a certain cultural cause and national historical context creation of musical works and a familiarity with them is closely connected with the social factor especially in matters of symbolic inclusion or exclusion based on musical and artistic taste and uh, the last factor the aesthetic aesthetic factor uh, enables, allows making judgment regarding certain properties of a particular uh, piece, musical instrument, genre, or performance. The nature of taste is usually described as uh, dual, combined objective and subjective principles. In general, formation of taste occurs, among other things, due to the issuance of a series of system form and aesthetic judgments made about the cultural products consumed. And uh, the conclusion, the tastes in general, musical and artistic tastes in particular, are a manifestation of a person's systematic selectivity in relation to cultural, in a broad sense, products. Musical and artistic tastes are not only the result of judgment arising because of cultural consumption, but aesthetic values of certain cultural products, but also one of the mechanisms for creating same symbolic boundaries between different groups. Uh, both hypotheses were partly confirmed. The symbolic distinction between different groups thus partly retains its relevance, which is especially clearly seen in interviews with experts and listeners. But superficially, the attitudes can be described as neutral. The negative attitude towards certain musical forms and artists' genres is usually not immediately articulated, often is disguised. For, for example, in focus respondents 
would initially say they're neutral about music. Uh, it's not to their liking, but later they marked this uh, such uh, negative attitudes. The topic of cultural taste in, is a relevant direction that requires further empirical research and the use of interdisciplinary tools. In my opinion, comparative intergenerational studies, studies of embodiment of music from a sociological point, and measure information of taste uh, is influenced by uh, stream in, and the most uh, promising uh, sphere that will actively develop in the near future, especially adjusted for uh, accelerating music changes in the industrial landscape in the time of the pandemic. Thank you. That's all. Thank you, Daria Vladimirna. Dear council members, please, uh, you have now, you now may ask questions. And okay, then let me ask the first question. Well, Daria Vladimirna, as we know, uh, the theory uh, of Natalia Zubarevich, the theory of four Russias, is cultural, social, economic spaces of modern Russia is divided into four subspaces there. So cities with uh, millions of residents, smaller cities and rural areas, South Russia, the Caucasus. Your conclusions and your empirical studies, uh, how uh, can you say that uh, all your results are relevant to all four Russians? Thank you for the question. In reality, I have not extrapolated all the results but in general, the young generation born in, in, during that period, so the extrapolation to small cities and villages and other uh, forms of human agglomerations is impossible. Yet, I have uh, quite a wide selection in terms of geography. Uh, I think in annexes, I've given percentage of uh, respondents' origin. Most of them came from St. Petersburg. Many respondents came from Moscow, Novosibirsk, and Yekaterinburg. At least these four cities uh, showed very similar results, uh, which was also very fun because the uh, uh, persons who said they live in St. Petersburg, as you understand, mostly these were students who came uh, from big cities and while well, their musical tastes formed in different thank you I see dear council members if you have any questions so we all read the thesis we all sent our reviews so if you have any questions please ask may I can you hear me Daria Vladimirovna, I have the following question. You have this uh, hypothesis about transformation of musical taste occurs uh, in the, the blurring of social borders, and this results from global stratification changes. My question is obviously the main vector of development of stratification in post industrial society is growing differentiation between social groups and uh, stratas. How does that correlate with uh, music uh, factors of music and uh, cultural consumption? Thank you, Svetlana Ivanovna. Svetlana Ivanovna, may I ask you to repeat the last part of your question? I missed that part. My question was about your hypothesis. Then maybe I will not repeat your hypothesis. The question is. Uh, the main vector of stratification uh, in post the post-industrial society is growing differentiation between social groups. How does that correlate with patterns of cultural consumption? Thank you very much for your question. Well, if we talk about disappearing borders between social groups, 
I use the uh, Pedersen theory, who claims that the trend is, the current trend is, uh, greater consumption of different genres and uh, forms of music, so patterns that can be seen in musical consumption practices demonstrate that there is a broad selection of arenas, not only social arenas, but arenas that form these musical tastes. And while before it uh, included one or two or three sources, now the sources are numerous, and that means that this identity is more fragmented and less uh, clearly defined. Uh, am I, uh, did I understand your question? <laughs> so you answered the question, and let us continue. When, uh, well, uh, colleagues, uh, do we have more questions? Yes. Elena Leonidna, welcome. Thank you very much. Uh, I beg your pardon. I got sick today. I have a methodological question of methodological nature. Please uh, explain criteria for selection of experts. Uh, you interviewed and focus group uh, participants. Uh, what were what criteria did you use for that? Thank you, Elena Lenina. Thank you for this question. The may, the uh, criteria for selection of experts. The main criteria uh, the fit the age group I mentioned and professionally involved in uh, had, uh, professional in the music industry. I had two experts who work in music schools. Also, all the experts uh, reside in the cities I mentioned. As for listeners, I applied the same criteria. Besides, they were to listen to music not less than once a week, at least once a week. And I included this question into the questionnaire. I found the first three experts, and they put me in touch with two other experts. Uh, as for listeners, the same snowball method. First, I found three listeners, and they gave me contacts to other listeners. And some listeners were people who filled in the questionnaire, the lone one, and agreed to uh, be interviewed. There was a question in the end, if they agree, about the questionnaire. In the initially, I sent it uh, about uh, St. Petersburg University and Chemical Pharmaceutical Academy students. I think the question was about the experts, not about uh, criteria you selected. Let's uh, try to answer the questions accurately. Dear colleagues, if there are no questions, let's proceed to speeches of the dissertation council members and their assessment of the thesis and answers of the applicant. I suggest you answer each review individually to make the procedure clear and efficient. Dear, dear council members, we received no external reviews, as I understand. Uh, what uh, another thing I'd like to mention: the uh, reviews were submitted before the code was changed. Dear colleagues, do we agree that uh, they uh, correspond to the academic specialty of five four six sociology of culture? Agreed. As all the reviews have been published at the St. Petersburg University website, I suggest reading or stating only the key points, questions, or remarks to the applicant. Do council members have any objections? No, thank you. Then 
dear council members, um, I put uh, in alphabetically Vera Alexeyevna Achkasova. Welcome. Thank you, dear colleagues. I won't uh, explain relevance uh, because uh, indeed music today has a, plays a major role in the life of individuals and in the life of the society in general. So I'd like to uh, draw attention to the advantages uh, of the thesis, which I mentioned in my review. First of all, I think the author's attempt to synthesize, uh, to put into a system, page 73 of the thesis, and the main consequence of industrialization of culture is the change of the musical field, the practice of consumption of music and uh, the musical tastes in general. A major advantage of the work is the fact that the author provides theoretical framework uh, that explains formation of musical tastes in Russian youth, double selectivity of consumed musical project uh, a symbolic demarcation of social and principles of correspondence of musical practices to lifestyle. The special interest should be given uh, to musical identity. The author defines as a, a set of included in the personal uh, of, of an individual. And of course, the author pays attention to the fact that uh, urbanization leads to uh, identity becoming more fragmented and lucid. The uh, music uh, can overcome this cleavage because uh, it claims to be universal and preserve its universal features because it has no uh, final values of certain symbols. Musical identity of Russian youth is, is fragmented and lucid. In that sense, the author forecasts that such fragmented identity will increase. Yet symbolic borders based on patterns of music consumption are still relevant. The foundation of intergeneration differences and differentiation of mass elite cultures, the category of taste with Daria Vladimirovna has explored thoroughly criteria of differentiation of mass and high culture as uh, for patterns of mu of mass culture and aesthetic pleasure for patterns of elite culture such uh, approach answers the question why music forms which are distant from mass culture which are hard to difficult to perceive belong to the category of high culture uh, moreover, the definition of taste proposed by some artists and array of data obtained uh, during the empirical study, the author suggests her own definition of musical taste, which serves as a frame of uh, perception of musical products. One of the uh, relevant problems is the problem of uh, influence between music and politics. The musical field includes uh, music pieces and uh, ex external factors of musical of, uh, political nature. In modern Russia, the most political and socially active are uh, punk and rap cultures. It's very important that musical culture is seen not as a source of uh, direct political influence, but as, as a field for manifestation of identity markers. Uh, let me, I will allow myself to skip praise of the theoretical and methodological base of the study and empirical data obtained during the study and proceed to comments. Uh, uh, relevance uh, seems to me uh, is uh, evoked some questions. Uh, speaking of virtual practices of music consumption, uh, which affect musical tastes of the young generation, the author has omitted a number of important aspects. For example, she only briefly touches upon the uh, process side and maintenance of music, ta music tastes. 
while communicative methods today play a major role in promotion of uh, perception of music samples. Page 41, sociological interest re quite recently. Uh, in national social studies, youth has not been studied as a separate group because such group uh, did not agree with the ideology. But in reality, during the Soviet period, a special field in sociology has emerged, the study of youth. In here, I would mention Ikonikov, Lisovsky, Dmitry works dedicated to such issues. These were written in 1960s and 1970s. Speaking of age limit as an age, as a uh, so, social group, so for 14 to 30, saying that approaches to uh, are, can be to these can be different. Unfortunately, the author doesn't uh, explain these approaches in detail, though it's important for the study of certain social social behavior models, trends, uh, social dynamics, etc. Despite this, as an independent scientific study which addresses a number of the theses by Tkachuk Darya Vladimirovna on the theme factors of formation and functioning of musical tastes in contemporary Russian youth corresponds to the basic requirements set by the order on awarding academic degrees at St. Petersburg University. And the degree applicant deserves to be awarded the degree of candidate of sociology specialty sociology of culture article 911 of the above mentioned order has not been violated by the applicant thank you Vera Alexeyevna Daria Vladimirovna welcome Vera Alexeyevna first of all thank you very much for your review and for your comments and questions and remarks so let me follow the order first uh, question was about uh, technical issues of formation of musical tastes, uh, virtual practices of music consumption. I paid lots of attention, pages 60, 61, 80, 81, etc. But unfortunately, I focused on general, more on general factors and not so much on technical. Uh, that is why uh, factors, that is why I uh, devoted enough attention, but uh, all is always possible to uh, devote more attention. Also, let me add that according to our interviews, uh, initially I uh, believe that uh, internet will be the main factor that affects the musical tastes. But uh, I, we found that friends were the most important factor. So the internet. Uh, especially in the time of the pandemic. But in 2017, 2018, maybe the picture was, the tradition was slightly different. And I agree that in the future, virtual practices will uh, get accelerated. I uh, published, uh, I wrote about this in my articles, but in 2017, 2018, uh, my, uh, the data was like that. Uh, thank you very much. Hope I answered your question. As for the second question about uh, that uh, sociology of youth was non-existent in uh, USSR, uh, the wording was slightly different. And let me, I quoted, uh, I quoted Chuprova and Zubok, and I will allow myself to quote this. Uh, uh, paragraph that uh, in domestic social studies, for a long uh, time, young people were not seen as independent social group. It didn't fit the existing ideas about the class structure of the society and contradicted the official ideological doctrine of its socio-political unity. So what I'm saying, I understand that my wording uh, maybe is too flexible. It's not clear enough, but at the same time, I here I uh, repeated a very fundamental work by Chuprova and Zubov. And your third question was about uh, age limits and different approaches to the study of youth. 
I explained in paragraph 1.3, and of course this uh, could be extended and could focus more on specific features as a biopolitical construct and uh, study the questions in your comments, but the topic of my work was not uh, exactly, uh, didn't agree, exactly agree with the uh, theme of my study. That's all I had to say. Thank you. Thank you. Now let me get, let's give the floor to Professor Magyadovich, Marina Lenina, dear Marina Leonidovna, welcome. Uh, please turn the microphone on. We can't hear you yet because your microphone is up. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Yes. I okay, now every all is well. I I am testing a new laptop. So, uh, some uh, still. So, I recommendations uh, provided in the work uh, uh, mostly present in the chapter three of the study, uh, which includes uh, prior, uh, interviews with focus group young internet users in cities of Russia and though the text has no program contains no program and explanation of selection and data about questioned uh, occupation residence this part of work seems most successful the author managed to identify uh, so seven associations, certain uh, certain music genres, which explains cognitive mechanisms of perception of music culture. Uh, also, the conclusion that among young, uh, certain hidden relations uh, connected with not so much with potential uh, taste differences, but with incorporated. Uh, opinion uh, of su such emotions, feelings, uh, and fears that these tastes will be misinterpreted. This page 98 of the thesis. Also, the conclusion that uh, in order to belong to particular individuals, uh, hide their likes uh, to certain cultural products considered prestigious in this group. Personal contribution of the author is in a sociology of taste, complex uh, analysis of musical tastes of Jan Petersburgers uh, in the sphere of consumption of cultural industries, uh, identifying the context of uh, study problems and uh, author's method empirical research. But as was mentioned uh, in my review, uh, besides uh, certain wordings can, uh, can uh, look unsuccessful to me, but these are mostly uh, of the main achievements of the thesis of the author of the thesis, and the questions which are these are most, mostly points for discussion. First, the term musical and artistic taste in the title does not seem appropriate. It's rather misleading, both in the Russian and English versions of the work. The musical taste is a type of artistic taste, alone with taste in painting, cinema, etc. For example, Moisei Kagan defined artistic taste as a way of perceiving and appreciating works of art and myths and as they perceived as artistic creations. See Kagan, Philosophy of Culture, page 116. For the purposes of this paper, the definition of the subject matter should rather have specified that it concerns musical taste in the field of uh, cultural industries, which are syn of synthetic in nature, or musical visual taste in case of music videos, because music is art and 
the artistic taste as uh, a repetition is, re is repetitive is repetitive second question the content of the first chapter seems rather controversial where the author presents experience of music research by various disciplines omitting the theory of music museology the most important achievement of aesthetics and the theory of artistic culture and in addition to the sociology, we can also identify several sub-disciplines within which music and music art are central objects of research. This include philosophy, psychology of music, musical geography, ethnomusicology, history of music, and philosophy of music. Each of these areas, including the sociology of music, tends to integrate the toolkit of several disciplines. It's likely that if Daria had turned the experience of music theory and artistic culture, it had uh, and also resorted to the experience of uh, she could be able to avoid many theoretical and factual inaccuracies in the text of the thesis. Yes, uh, also she omitted the work by Alexander Oshkaryov, Audience of Art in Social Dimensions. And the doctoral thesis and the monograph published in 2019, where he put in a system everything and so uh, published in sociology of music. Uh, the tradition of sociology, national uh, uh, tradition, is not well, has not been explored sufficiently. They revealed differences in the respondents' assessment of domestic artistic culture is also observed in other studies, but the region of residence plays a major role in such assessment. So here I quote, I'm quoting my own article, uh, written and published on the basis of uh, an empirical study in different regions of the North. The lack of data on dependence of responses on the city of residence and other socio-demographic characters reduces significance of results obtained by the author. Well, of course, many remarks are very interesting, but they are true only about the regions explored. But we may see absolutely different data in Yakutia other regions of Russia. Uh, despite these drawbacks, we may state that the thesis corresponds to the requirements applied to such works in sociology of culture and addresses the scientific tasks adequately. Uh, development of has scientific and practical novelty and many uh, de uh, demonstrates personal contribution. The thesis by Daria Vladimir Kachuk on the theme factors of formation and functioning of musical and artistic tastes of contemporary Russian youth corresponds to the main requirements set by the order on the 1st of September 2016, number 6821, an order of awarding academic degrees at the Petersburg University. And the degree applicant, Daria Vladimir, deserves awarding degree of candidate of sciences, specialty, sociology of cult culture, articles 9 and 11 of the above mentioned order has not been violated. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. Marina Leonidovna, please, uh, please answer the remarks. Marina Leonidovna, thank you for your review and uh, comments and questions. Let me start with the question. A musical artistic taste, uh, this uh, concept of musical artistic taste uh, was, an impo is my, was my position. Uh, considering the definition of uh, Moise Samuelovich, uh, we followed different logic. The, we, because musical taste uh, in complex musical uh, became uh, unknown longer. 
uh, so they are now perceived at several levels uh, simultaneously. If we talk about perception of audiovisual content, such as music videos or performances, uh, apart from the visual, we can also interpret additional meanings uh, included by the authors. Uh, for example, political context, uh, subcultural elements, etc. We have labeled these multiple components as artistic because, firstly, they're not independent reflection of socio-institutional contexts and transformations. And secondly, uh, they are some artistic interpretation of them. And secondly, they're not reduced directly to the visual component. So these are not visual. In our view, this complexity needs more research. I also agree that music visual tastes is a better term for consumers' tastes in music videos, but still the focus of this research was on more diverse pro pro products. So we decided to use this term. The second question was about first chapter of my thesis. Uh, let me say that the initial idea was to present relevant studies uh, with interdisciplinary approach in history of um, research has been carried out, for example, in uh, theory of composition already has a number of works uh, which describes specificity of perception of musics, uh, how different chords are perceived or uh, uh, and, uh, for example, Theodor Adorno had such works. But the experience of sociology of taste in other art forms is partly touched upon in chapter one when describing Pierre Bourdieu's approach. And later in my work, I will certainly take into account both aesthetic and musicological foundations of taste formation, but I think that I pay sufficient attention to these issues in interdisciplinarity in my work. And the third question was about uh, different tastes and the regional specific features. The emphasis is uh, put on residents of big city, so that does not contradict the uh, idea that in Yakutia uh, there are regional specific features, and uh, I have studied local musical identity of Dagestan and all the relations. Uh, different influence arenas in big cities, which became the foundation of my work. And most of respondents came from St. Petersburg, and in their uh, significant regional specificity was evident in uh, uh, their works. So, we, uh, so I extrapolated their results. On the other hand, speaking of uh, regional specificity, we conducted some observations. For example, on page 108, I'm um, quoting an interview of uh, the vocalist Daria S., uh, who mentioned the regional specificity of Tumen in the jazz community. And in order uh, to quantify the regional specificity, it's necessary to conduct a comparative study, but that was not the aim of this paper. Uh, which aimed specifically at general patterns of formation representation of tastes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And before I give the floor to Yelena Lemindevna, uh, Daria, please, uh, to all answers, to, uh, all answers, you only have 20 minutes. So please try and uh, make your answers shorter. Yes, now, let us get the floor to Elena Leonidovna Melchenko. Thank you very much. Since I am not feeling well, my I'll make my speech short, and I will focus on the key points. I have a very good impression of the work, and all the parts of the work are quite strong, and this interaction between, can you hear me? Yes, 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 we can hear you very well. This uh, the approach 
which involves uh, sociology of music, artistic taste, uh, musical studies dedicated to specific features so, uh, formation of music space in contemporary Russia is, uh, is quite seldom uh, in, uh, attracts attention of researchers uh, so that's why it's very interesting but considering the fact that musical preferences and tastes have been and are uh, uh, growing stronger despite the increasing diversity of pre musical preferences they still remain markers of group identity and not only in subcultural but also ordinary youth and they play a particular role in youth groups consumption changes and these dynamics, these peculiarities, Daria manages to describe quite well, and along with uh, historical perspective, I had a very good impression of uh, the, uh, the use of theoretical uh, the time frame. That is why. I will focus. I have only some comments or questions. So it seems to me the obvious advantage is uh, originality, validity, uh, which is substantiated by seri this serious theoretical and methodological base, a clear conceptual analysis of obtained material and uh, verification of uh, used methods. The language is very good and logical, so my, uh, generally my, so I have only two uh, comments or questions. In conclusion of the uh, theoretical, the author demonstrates the author shows two approaches to formation of musical day, but it's not clearly, it's not clear which uh, direction which approach uh, she adheres in her thesis and in conclusion uh, to the second the author concludes that young people's consumption respondents note that they don't make judgments about people and their personal qualities based solely on their musical tastes and so, uh, so that's a very general question and what can young people make judgments about when they uh, know their musical tastes? Can you comment this statement? But as I said, these are not critical remarks, but uh, something uh, that uh, these remarks demonstrate my interest. And obviously, they do not reduce the significance of the results of Daria Vladimirovna Tkachuk. Uh, on the theme formation of uh, function of musical artistic tastes of, uh, that corresponds to the main requirements set by the order awarding academic degrees. And the degree applicant, uh, Tkachuk, deserves a awarding degree of candidate of, uh, uh, and articles 9 and 11 of the above mentioned order has not been violated. And yes, I did not criticize the music taste. I, it seems that Daria here is right. And we should maybe talk about inclusion of certain channels of taste and preference formation uh, that are uh, in, now uh, became a mixture. So it's hard to uh, isolate music or visual uh, uh, and involvement in city landscape. This interaction, this mix creates special characteristics, youth attitude, youth perception and youth segmentation uh, of uh, musical tastes. Thank you very much. Thank you.
It's very important. We see you're not. We can see you're not feeling well. So thank you once again for being with us. Uh, please answer, Elena Leonidovna. Thank you once again for your review, for the in, your interesting observations. And let me answer your two questions that you included. As for the theoretical part of my work and approach, is in my understanding, the approach of Pedersen is closer to the trends we can uh, I saw on the basis of my empirical study, but definitely uh, I used Bourdieu's approach. So I did not say, uh, I think that both works explain uh, 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 the so it's uh, integrated approach I'm, u I'm using the integrated approach as for the analysis is in the since the beginning this was i um, uh, examined focus groups and questionnaires of course i cannot say what judgments young people are making about their peers but in focus groups, uh, they gave some uh, evaluative judgments uh, that uh, listeners to certain genres have. For example, uh, their uh, uh, orientation points. This is very easy to see uh, in differentiation between uh, the genera different generations school children listen to oxymoron and they're not very clever and my parents listen to to other to such musicians and they are such and such and uh, about their peers such judgments were also uh, given that's why i gave this made this conclusion So maybe at that, uh, I have answered. I think I have answered all your questions. And once again, thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, all is well. Thank you. Now let's give the floor to Svetlana Ivanovna Rosenko, uh, also working. Uh, Svetlana Ivanovna, welcome. Dear colleagues, I, it was very in, with great interest. I. Uh, studied this thesis. Daria Vladimirovna analyzes the process of formation of musical tastes and pays special attention uh, to this with different groups. The author also focuses on the role of global musical industry in uh, communicative function in the life of contemporary Russian youth. Uh, the author uses a wide array of scientific literature, the national and international, and the theme of taste is uh, explored with interdisciplinary tools, and this is also an advantage of this work. The author preserves sociological approach to this study of, in, uh, of the empirical data. Uh, separately, we can, uh, the author of Global, uh, Svetlana,
А Светлана, Светлана Ивановна, пожалуйста, слушаем вас продолжение вашего отзыва. Работаем. Спасибо, коллеги. Отдельно стоит подчеркнуть поднимаемый глобальный индустриальный аспект формирования музыкальных курсов. В частности, автор рассматривает виртуальные потребительские практики. Работы исследования были опробированы как на международных, так и на локальных конференциях. Вместе с тем, при прочтении работы возникли некоторые вопросы, которые я хочу озвучить. Во-первых, недостаточное внимание уделено оформлению эмпирической части исследования. В приложении отсутствует программа исследования и недостаточно четко обозначены критерии отбора респондентов и экспертов. Хотелось бы получить дополнительную информацию об особенности выборок. Во-вторых, следовало обратить большее внимание на специфику процесса формирования вкусовых предпочтений у различных социальных молодежных групп и слоев, поскольку молодежь представляет собой крайне дифференцированную социальную группу. И в-третьих, в исследованиях вкусовых предпочтений антипатии, как правило, отмечается региональная специфика, на что... ...which is indicated by the author of this study. It appears doubtful that extrapolation to a wider population, youth population, these are points for discussion, but still and they do not affect the scientific significance of the work. And uh, in conclusion, let me say that the thesis by Kachuk Darvelma on the thin factors of formation and functioning of the musical and artistic tastes of contemporary Russian youth correspond to the main requirements set by the order on awarding academic degrees in Petersburg University. And the applicant, Kachuk Darya Vladimna, deserves awarding degree of candidate of sociology. Articles 9 and 11 of the above mentioned order has not been violated. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, dear Svetlana Ivanovna. Let's hear your answers of, uh, to questions and comments of Professor Lafinka. Svetlana Ivanovna, thank you for your comments. As for the empirical part of my study, I think I have already explained in detail about experts and listeners, and I will talk more about interviewing survey service. I will collect it uh, with Snowball Method in 2018, February and March. Originally, I sent some paper questionnaires to uh, St. Petersburg Chemical Pharmaceutical Academy among the students, first, fourth year students and students at St. Petersburg University, Faculty of Economics, Journalism and Earth Sciences. These were students of first, uh, fourth year and master's students. And then students distributed a link to the questionnaire among their uh, friends. And in the end, uh, I got more responses than I included. So in the end, uh, I reduced the selection to 188 questionnaires that uh, fitted the age, were fully complete, were uh, fully completed, and there was a city about cities, and the cities, uh, the respondents mentioned cities with millions of residents. As for specific uh, the, uh, features in different age groups, the uh, I we followed a different a different logic in my work. Uh, we tried to uh, we and they the division distinction between young people and other age group. Uh, uh, other specific musical community in age groups. And as for regional specific. I have not uh, discussed, uh, I have not extrapolated my data to all the regions, but relevant extrapolation to young people uh, residing in major cities. That's quite a big population, and the study was 
verified uh, qualitative interviews and, so, and all the results coincided in general. That's why I made these conclusions. I think I have answered all the questions. Thank you very much. Svetlana Ivanovna, thank you for your answers. Thank you. And now let's give the floor to Polina. Again, uh, of course, I confirm the uh, review, which is quite detailed. Uh, I will, uh, hi, I will only read the questions uh, and focus a little bit. I'll drop relevance, which is beyond any doubt, and the description of the work itself. But as for the, the work, has many. Complementary assessment of the work, but in my opinion, the author, then studying uh, a current phenomena, is based on concepts that are no longer relevant in the study of taste. For example, Davidimna says that in the study of uh, taste, uh, there are uh, the taste is divided in high, middle, low, bro. Uh, similar division in culture, but it says the development of mass culture changed this distribution between high and low taste. And the musical industry and commercialized production consumption are changing the genre composition of music space. Their conclusion is connected with the uh, g greater fragmentation. But new distribution of products, which uh, uh, reduces the horizontal and vertical uh, the marketing of culture and cul um, no low bro. He says that the old differentiation between high and commercial culture are no longer active, and so there's no as as, as fashionable. There's no karaoke of taste, which was seen as leather, uh, which an individual cries low bro Seabrook. This is not uh, high, low, or medium. This is culture that exists outside the old hierarchy of taste, which is especially relevant for young people. But uh, this w work was written and translated into Russian in 2013 would be uh, significant because hypothesis offered by Daria corresponds well to uh, the musical changes uh, and is stratification changes. And uh, the social limits disappear between consumers and of uh, the, uh, the uh, so the author ag uh, agrees so the concept of Seabrook would uh, confirms that also I will uh, omit discussion of the structure uh, which uh, is only good as for the points for discussion uh, which I so first is uh, the book by Seabrook and then there's another study which is more fundamental unlike uh, so this third wave of Toffler is, uh, contains a number of provisions that outlined in the thesis and define specificity of consumption of musical products, affirmation of musical artistic tastes. Uh, Toffler uh, identifies distandization demasification in the sphere of art, and this trend is extremely important for analysis of segmentation of musical preferences, development of demasified uh, non-professional media and simplification of production of information, the sphere of communication, these trends also, um, uh, I also mentioned some of these provisions are Esmen Dalsh, uh, and which the author has used. But the latter focus on development of cultural industries. Esmen Dalsh insists on the use of cultural industries. Uh, speaking on institute involved in production of social, in the concept of Toffler, Produced in 1980, demonstrates how these new, uh, uh, created by YouTubers and TikTokers. So this also analysis of actual cultural field and service assessment of impact of different arenas, information, musical artists, where internet resources and the impact of teachers is practically absent. Here in my review. I speak that this uh, is uh, very highly relevant to the uh, audience. Analyze the last audience. Uh, it's getting information anywhere else because all other generations born after to year 2000, uh, so they get all their information on the internet from the internet. And and two questions. Uh, first question is about the methodology. How the two selected 
concept, bourgeoisie, uh, of uh, high and popular and uh, is all omnivorousness uh, relate to each other in the work. And second question is about selected auditorial sociological research. The main object is uh, young people born in 1987-1997. Why are young people born uh, who are now students? Because the, uh, so the, she, exam, she studied students. Here we see students of 10th, 11th grade in St. Petersburg. And during you know, this study, uh, they still uh, young students now. So, so this is my second question. And finally, of course, the thesis corresponds to the requirements and their uh, author deserves being awarded their degree. Thank you. Thank you, Olga Sergeyevna. Your answers, please. Olga Sergeyevna, thank you for your review and for your interest in observations, questions, and comments. Let me take them uh, one by one. As for the works, uh, Seabrook, Toffler, and others, in reality, I the trend to new concepts, the trend to new philosophical concepts of the cultural field, for example. Yes, of course, yes. for example, I came across works uh, on uh, modernity, digital modernity and meta-modernity. But in my opinion, these works today are philosophy uh, rather than applied works. This study of meta-modernity, which uh, remind me of uh, Seabrook. Of course, I read his work in Russian. The last book on uh, some, uh, res social research, it was published in 2020. So I agree. There are uh, many interesting concepts and theories, but physically I could not cover all of them. As for the methodology, as for the auditorium, the object was a group of young people born in 1997, this time frame, because of two pros a book, phases of youth. Second and uh, 21st to 29 years old at the time of uh, the data collection. But uh, I added one year to fit to reach the group uh, with that, uh, of respondents who were born later. Yeah, uh, so they are students now and persons who uh, uh, they were 17 years old. So I have not discussed them. But as for school children, originally we had St. Kozlovsky in Marinsky Theater. So we got access to persons who visited theater lessons and we had a large population but unfortunately I could only add one or two questions in the question is and uh, scientific hypothesis which I used later so that study was dedicated to the study of consequences of visiting such a lesson I have not included it in my thesis because it's not relevant but I had to give it in annex because questionnaires were developed. I developed them uh, on the basis of answers given by school children. So these two generations are quite close to each other. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now let us give the floor to uh, Professor Titarenko. Since a lot has been said already by my colleagues, about uh, relevance and content of the works. Le I will just say that I uh, also comment on this, and, uh, uh, and I agree that the work is quite well uh, uh, founded, contains interesting results. In my review, I comment on validity and explain this. Uh, I would just like to say that uh, Daria's work has actual scientific novelty 
which lies in the in the fact uh, she identified three principles here uh, which she explained in her speech and also in my opinion it's important uh, that the author emphasizes the importance of musical tastes as one of indicators in the change of perception of young people and the world and the young people themselves so the structure of the work of the work is all I also characterize and in my opinion as I understand it's important that the author identify the contradiction information of artistic tastes they're getting closer and on the other hand uh, there is some differentiation in production a symbolic differentiation and uh, this of these musical tastes it's actually important in a practical sense uh, should not Oh, it's also uh, seemed important to me that the author identifies the features, uh, situational and maybe other generation groups. They would be different, but in the age group under study, these are valid. But I also have some uh, comments uh, which can be relevant since some of my comments are the same. Uh, as they call it, so I will not insist that the author answers exactly my comments, but I will still read them. Of the two approaches, and the Peterson and Bourdieu, it seemed to me, as I said, that it would be good to say which approach the author prefers. Though, of course, the answer was already given also, it seemed to me, a little bit blurred is not clear why speaking about generations the author selected age group that does not belong to a generation it's smaller if according to Daria Vadimna this is a generation she should have explained her opinion in more detail and I cannot but add an explanation about the uh, my in Soviet social sciences youth was studied since the beginning of social sociology since 1960s uh, there was a, a, a we had sociology of youth what's written in page 41 because I was uh, neither in 1960s not in 1960s and many Leningrad researchers, or Lisovsky, uh, Ikonnikova. So I just contacted uh, Yulia Albertovna Zubok, and uh, she uh, became really angry that no quotes should be used outside the context. And uh, well, her opinion is their opinion was different that social sociology of youth existed in the USSR and youth was identified so please remember maybe read this what you said is quite typical for your generation of research in your generation of researchers but since the fact is still there it's good to follow what the authors in uh, and one more thing I wanted one other thing I wanted to add the selection is not big enough uh, to distribute the results to all cities with millions of residents. Most uh, of the respondents come from St. Petersburg. For a thesis, it would be sufficient to distribute your results to young people you have interviewed. That would be appropriate uh, eight nine interviews that's too little to talk about all million plus cities and you have uh, part, uh, partly answered this question as well and uh, you have uh, well rich empirical material you have not used fully in annexes but not in the text so we could uh, uh, among school children, 
and the group you have identified and prove that there is a real contradiction in musical tastes between them and why some musical genres uh, young people consider bad or high and low taste. These questions you should pay. I have uh, a specific, there are many typos, uh, misspelled names. Maybe you were, perhaps uh, you uh, have not checked, but uh, taught my, the overall conclusion is that the thesis by Darwin Kachuk uh, 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 is of corresponds to the requirements set by the order on the on the 1st of September 2016 number 6821/1 awarding academic degrees at St Petersburg University and the uh, applicant Darvlimet Kachuk deserves awarding the degree of candidate of social sciences in sociology of Article articles 911 of the above mentioned order has not been violated Thank you. Thank you, Larissa Grigorina. Uh, Daria Vladimirna, please. Uh, Larissa Grigorina, thank you very much uh, for coming, uh, joining us today. Thank you very much for your review and for your comments. Of course, many uh, I accept many of your remarks about typos. It's my mistake, I accept and interpretation of, uh, about interpretation of, of the work of Chuprova and Zubok. Indeed, maybe I uh, did not present my idea and my uh, opinion. Uh, social, so, uh, your Soviet social science, the concept of youth sociology was absent, but maybe the wording was different. As for the question about the regions, in my opinion, the selection was sufficient and is, is a tough screening of respondents and total number. Uh, I had over 500 respondents and these were highly representative. So I think I have answered your questions. Thank you very much. Thank you, Daria Vladimirna. And so finally, it's my turn. Dear colleagues, yeah, for the, to the chairman, it's so the chairman's job is easier because many of the comments have already been presented by other speakers. My review is nine pages long. Uh, I won't read it, but I will outline the, the main points uh, and the critical remarks, uh, which are, some of which have already been mentioned by my colleagues and uh, answers have already been given. In my opinion, the work is a success. Uh, it deserves positive assessment. I will drop this uh, the, uh, positive part of the work and maybe I will focus uh, uh, on my interpretation of scientific novelty, which turn this uh, work uh, into verification for uh, the uh, the double selectivity principle under uh, we, uh, under the influence of primary media social reference groups and second in my opinion the author suggested uh, relevant interpretation of musical tastes as cultural universum which integrates different musical preferences, identities, and methods of listening and communication. In general, the thesis is a complete work based on a wide range of fundamental sources. Offer perspective scientific apparatus has a, 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 includes own empirical study. The work is logical and well written. The, uh, the results have been tested adequately, and we all, uh, all of us, we all remember how we woke up at the same time. So, well, at the same time, I have some 
critical remarks. So there is two of my first remarks have already been discussed. And uh, one is about relevance extrapolation of to all Russian youth, as we mentioned. And the second comment is about, uh, mentioned by Professor Rasenka is a text and appendices like research uh, program. The culture of empirical research requires such a program. But this we have already discussed as well as selection. So please disregard these comments. And third comment has not been given yet. From the, it's not clear from the text how the basic hypothesis was tested. Let me remind you, musical and aesthetic tastes of the contemporary youth in the context of global culture and uh, stratification changes undergoing transformation towards erasing social boundaries between music consumers and increasing fluidity of uh, patterns of, of, of ultra consumption, uh, page nine. There is no explicit definition of such notions as fluidity of cultural consumption patterns increased fluidity of consumption. Uh, so it's not clear how the author measured this fluidity and its dynamics and how this hypothesis was empirically verified or disproved. Fourth, the nature of presentation of psychological factors in the formation of artistic, uh, pages 86, 91. First of all, we, let's note the psychological factors uh, belong to this uh, further. We believe that it's hardly reasonable to reduce psychological factors, information of artistic and musical taste solely to emotions, as the author does. There's also a place for cognition, con conation. Also, we should not exclude influence of unconscious levels of attitudes, uh, which uh, underline the process of taste formation. Cannot fully agree with the conclusion of the author. I'm quoting emotions while listening to music are one of the main reasons for listening. At least this conclusion does not follow from the reference of this survey. 75% of our respondents claimed that they often use music to, main, uh, to maintain the emotional state. Uh, in our opinion, motive is not necessarily linked to the need for emotion. The emotion here is a result, not necessarily the cause. People may listen to music because of a need for relaxation, escape from problems, distraction, etc. And emotion is almost necessarily an attribute of individual's mental response to stimulus in the form of rhythmically or melodically ordered series of sounds and not always perceived. Uh, these uh, remarks uh, do not uh, affect scientific value of the results. So let me just the thesis but Kachuk the Rabla on the theme factor on the theme we know already corresponds to the main requirements set by the order number sixty eight twenty one slash one of the first of September twenty sixteen on the order of awarding academic degrees at St. Petersburg University and articles in nine and eleven have not been violated. The author the uh, the Kachuk the deserves being awarded uh, uh, Candidate of, uh, candidate of sociological sciences, uh, specialty sociology of culture. I beg your pardon. Uh, please, let's hear your answers to the questions you have not answered yet. Thank you, Dmitry Petrovich, for detailed uh, e examination of my work and for interesting observations and comments as for fluidity and dynamic fluidity and dynamic of changes were measured with the help of interviews in questionnaires these questions were not uh, well reflected and I cannot give you any quantities uh, that would prove uh, measurability but in interviews, the respondents mentioned, for example, a change of patterns of perception of uh, cultures. So they are perceived differently uh, in their childhood, for example, etc. As for an important comment about the psychological factor and emotions, in my work, I have studied a number of works uh, say, psychology of music rather than so, uh, sociology. For example, the work of Yuslin and Slabada dedicated to psychology of music and cognition uh, is studied in detail in this collection, in this uh, work. 
and that's why some of my conclusions I, I made some of my conclusions but the problem in sociology literature is that uh, the emphasis is on the emotional side of perception if we as Hesmondash uh, he uh, talks a lot about that a number of researchers uh, question efficient for example uh, social stratification without effectiveness in addition let me say that in the introduction I have the whole in, uh, information that music uh, can structure space and time and it's this it's also used by the uh, listeners uh, so I uh, take this as a psychological factor for that purpose uh, background music such as lo-fi and psychological factor was explained because it partly includes cognitive and emotional context and the, it becomes motivation for listening to music and this was reflected in questionnaires so we asked a question why do you listen to music and some uh, psychological classification are included in the questionnaire and you may see that not only for emotions for structure in time that i mentioned this is also uh, a psychological factor thank you thank you dear council members uh, let's one uh, again let me ask you once again if everybody is satisfied with uh, daria's answers i think i got you I have your consent uh, now we have the opportunity uh, to give the floor to attendees who are not uh, members of the dissertation council is anyone willing to speak I see no nobody is willing to speak then uh, we have the opportunity to uh, present questions and uh, I see we um, received no uh, questions online thus we have the opportunity to give the floor to the academic supervisor professor Kozlovsky Daria Vladimirovna, please have a seat. Give the floor to Vladimir Vyacheslavovich. Yes, please. Uh, you have to be in the cameras. Dear colleagues, I am very pleased uh, about this, uh, with this, because it took us a long time to arrive there. And Daria Vladimirovna has worked very hard uh, once she graduated, she's been working her thesis for four years, and I'd like to mention her personal talents in the study and she conducted and the results that she obtained and uh, which we are discussing today, they of course require further work, certainly, because the topic we have touched upon and published some results together the topic of musical and artistic taste and uh, musical artistic communication uh, which is discussed by the author is very complex and in sociology of culture uh, it's on the periphery uh, and of course uh, comments about uh, musical studies, uh, culture studies, of course, these uh, topics are discussed. And, uh, but in reality, it's important that this work, this is a work in sociology. It is dedicated to how youth groups and young people in general, how different youth groups are included in the cultural music space. So here we are talking about the sociological vision of how music and through music uh, such symbolic inclusion occurs. So we know that as, uh, music culture is an arena 
a space where social structuring occurs. I don't want to, uh, I just want to emphasize that Daria conducted massive work. Uh, she is now a mature researcher. Thank you for the assessment of our joint work. And I hope that uh, so that will be a starting point for future work in this prospect. So music is everything. So Daria Vladimirovna has taken a big step in this direction. Uh, and hopefully we will continue this work and I cannot assess uh, and so thank you for your assessment I don't have the right to assess but I thank you for your assessment so Pushkin and music is our everything not not only music uh, dear colleagues is anyone else willing to speak any of the uh, dissertation council any anybody present at our session no very well then, do we have more, have we received no questions? No. Then, at that, uh, we stop accepting, taking questions. Before we vote, let me ask the council members and the replicant, if you have any, uh, the uh, council members have any questions or remarks regarding the procedure, uh, in, uh, especially Questions related to remote access mode? No questions. Here I have to get answers uh, from all the council members. And that's the procedure. Uh, Vera Alexeyevna, no question. Maggie Deutsch, Marina Lenina? No, I don't have any questions. Amilchenka, Elena Lenidovna? Elena Leonidovna, dear colleagues, do you have questions regarding the procedure? No. Thank you. Svetlana Ivana Resenko, no, I don't have any comments. Thank you. No questions. Sapanja Olga Sergeyevna, no. Larisa Grigorevna, no, I don't have any questions. Thank you. And so it would be strange. Uh, for me to have any questions, I don't have any questions. So thus, uh, let me address our procedure. So that we can now move to the next item, which is voting. And it's uh, 13.53 Moscow time. Dear council members, now we have the opportunity uh, to discuss the results of, uh, and the sound shall be switched off. Do you think we need such a discussion? No. Does anybody insist on such a closed discussion? I see nobody needs the discussion. Since we don't need any additional discussion, let us continue our session and proceed to voting. At that, let me inform you that the opinion of each council member should be given in public uh, individually. Well, I put the question of awarding. Can we all see and hear each other? Yes, it is important. Yes. I put the question of awarding to Tkachuk Davlinda the degree of candidate of sociology and uh, academic specialty 546 to open individual vote. Uh, let me remind you that a decision of the decision council on awarding a degree shall be considered positive if uh, more than a half, but not less than three council members present at the session vote for it according to article 23 of the order council member Achkasova Vera Alexeyevna your opinion I am for awarding the degree to our applicant council Magidovich Marina Leonidovna I am also for awarding the degree of candidate of social uh, socio in sociology of culture thank you council member Amilchenka Elena Leonidovna 
I am uh, for, uh, all for awarding the degree of candidate of sociology. To Tkachuk Daria Vladimirovna, I have no comments. I uh, fully agree. Council member Asenka Svetlana Ivanovna. I am for awarding the degree to Tkachuk Daria Vladimirovna. Thank you. Council member Sapanja Olga Sergeyevna. I am for awarding the degree to Daria Vladimirovna. Uh, Council member Titarenga Larisa Grigorevna. I am for awarding the degree to Tkachuk Daria Vladimirovna. Thank you. And me, Chairman Gavra Dmitry Petrovich. I also vote for awarding the degree of candidate of sociology especially in sociology of culture to Tkachuk Daria Vladimirovna. Thus, dear colleagues and guests, let me inform you that out of seven council members, seven voted for, nobody voted against and nobody abstained a decision to award to Daria Vladimirovna Tkachuk a degree of candidate of sociology in academic specialty 546 sociology of culture has been made dear colleagues since our session is uh, some of our members working in remote access mode do council member uh, council members or other attendees have any comments or questions regarding their procedure dear colleagues once again i have to ask each uh, mem council member to answer, no, I don't have any questions, all was well. Marina Leonidovna, please turn the microphone on. Thank you, all was uh, organized really well. How don't have any, thank you very much. Elena Leonidovna, council member, don't have any comments. Thank you for uh, arranging this. Council member Rosenka Svetlana Ivanovna. No questions. Thank you. Council member Sapanja Olga Sergeyevna. No. Uh, Council member Tidrinka Lysirgeyevna. No questions. No critical remarks. Uh, I don't have any. Degree applicant. Um, we, to whom we have just awarded the degree. Do perhaps you have any questions or remarks? No, I don't have any, neither questions nor remarks. As the chairman, I have neither questions nor remarks regarding the procedure, and you have the opportunity uh, for your closing remarks. Uh, let me thank you, Dmitry Petrovich, and other council members for today's session and for voting to award the degree to me. Also, I would like to thank Professor Kozlovsky for his support in this uh, hard work of ri in writing this work. Without his support, I won't be able to make it to the end. Also, let me thank my colleagues and uh, one of the experts who came to this defense. Thank you. On behalf of uh, all dissertation council members, let me, colleagues, uh, sociologists, let me congratulate you on uh, the really successful defense. You demonstrated the ability to discuss in addition to the text, which always speaks, but the nature of public defense convinced uh, that your their conclusion, which made uh, on the basis of the text uh, relevant, so let uh, we all congratulate you. Dear colleagues, dear council members, dear attendees, uh, uh, dear the council session, uh, I declare closed. Thank you, everybody, for your participation. Please stop. Uh,